Welcome to Church of the Chair, where even death can die. I'm your host, E, and today, we're riding the lightning. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's works, the novels, the short stories, the novellas, everything. So if you haven't read all of his stuff, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about Revival by Stephen King. So how does Revival tie into the Dark Tower and the Stephen King universe in general? Let's get into that. The first thing I would like to note is all of the towns and places, locations that are mentioned in this book that show up in other Stephen King stories. We have Jerusalem's Lot, we have Castle Rock, we have Harlow, and we also have a reference to the amusement park Joyland. Something I missed, a big connection that I missed in the original video that was pointed out by this commenter is that Yes, Jamie cuts through Dorrance Marsteller's property. Good catch. I completely missed it. Then we have a comment from this user who asked me if I think that Chrome Roses, Jamie's band name, should be tied in. And yes, of course, roses are very important in the Dark Tower series as the Dark Tower is surrounded by a field of roses, so I'm absolutely 100% positive that this can be connected. And finally, I'm going to show off another comment that's quite long and my response to it. I'm going to leave them here and then my response here. And you can pause to read yourself because I don't think I can say it any better than I did in my response. Do, 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 Another thing that I failed to mention, and this is a bit of conjecture, this is a, a reach, I would say. But at the end of Black House, the, uh, the characters end up in a world that is very similar to where Jamie and Charlie Jacobs end up at the end of Revival. I have put these places together in my head, but I would love to hear what you have to say. It's the landscape, it's the background, the stuff off in the distance all paints a picture in my head that resemble each other. Once again, that is the ending of Black House, which King wrote with Peter Straub, and the ending of Revival. The only thing missing, I believe, from the landscape at the end of Black House are the giant ants. And for those of you wondering why I haven't redone the Sleeping Beauties theorist video yet, I am saving all of of Stephen King's collaborations, novellas, short stories, even The Green Mile for the end of this series. Why? Because each one of those things were either published as series, like The Green Mile, or they were published in other volumes of work beforehand or they were newly published and I want to give I want to do a deep dive and give them the attention that they deserve but we're only five books away from the end here and we we still have the outsider we have uh, the Institute Billy Summers fairy tale and eventually we will have Holly but I'm hoping to have this entire series wrapped up before we get there so again those videos are coming I promise you even cycle of the werewolf and elevation and all of those standalone novellas they will be featured in this redux series but that's all the time I have for you today did I miss anything do you have any corrections of anything I said in this video or do you have your own theories on how revival ties into the dark tower and the Stephen King universe if you do let me know down there in the comment section but but until next time, what is not dead, which can eternal lie, and with strange aeons, even death may die. H.P. Lovecraft. I'll hail the chair.